negative and positive, space and shape, focusing on the nothing. Negative space and shape. Now you see it, now you don't. Hey, you remember this image, the faces faces. This has all to do with negative and positive space. What is negative shape and space? Well, negative space is the area around and between objects. In the picture of the chair and table next to these words, the negative space is the black. The positive space is the stuff, it's the white. Negative space is the opposite of an identifiable object or the positive space. Just remember, the stuff is the positive. The air around the object is the negative. It can be used to help define the boundaries of positive shape. In space, it helps you draw objects by looking at the air. Oftentimes, the shapes are more simple. Because of this, negative space helps in getting accurate proportions in a drawing, especially if you're having trouble with the size and shape of objects or even if you're drawing people, looking at the negative space around the air, around the object or the figure, helps you get proper proportions. Check out these three objects. All right, in the first one on the left, the stool is the positive shape. In the middle image, the stool is also the positive shape and is shown in black. So that is the stuff. Now on the last image where the air around the stool is black, that black represents the negative shape. Here's another example of positive space. So spaces occupied by solid objects are considered positive space. Here the leaves are the positive spaces. Now here's the same exact image of those leaves, but this time the negative space is drawn. So the spaces around and between the leaves are negative spaces. And by drawing those, they create the positive space. Want to make your objects look realistic? Well, often by working from the negative spaces rather than focusing on the object, you end up with a much more accurate drawing or painting. Here are a couple other examples of negative space drawing. So in the left-hand side, you can see what looks like a fan, table, chairs, and the only shapes that are outlined are the negative spaces. So on the other side, however, uh, there is a push and pull of negative versus positive space. So if you look at the white cat, it appears to be the positive space in the air around it is the black, the negative space. But however, if you focus in on the black cat on the lower right hand side, it appears to be the positive space and the whole white area appears to be the air or the negative space. Check out these other negative spaces artworks. So on this one, there's a good push and pull between the positive, which are the trees, and the negative, which is the air around the trees. In this one, you can see the ram is drawn out. That is the positive space. But on the other side, the negative space is the area that is blacked in. In this example, there are multiple chairs stacked together. So what happens when you have positive spaces overlap, then and you're only drawing the negative space, you do not draw any of the positive overlap. The positive space is like one big chunk and the negative spaces, you're just drawing in the air. In this last example, the majority of the saw blade is created by just darkening the negative space around the object.